Hi everyone, I'm speaking to you on a very important topic that is hardly being talked about. How did Jesus treat women in the Bible? Jesus may well have been labeled a progressive base solely on his treatment and inclusivity of women. He showed his peers how he viewed women to be equal to men and worthy of honor, respect, and freedom. This insight are Rebecca Drumstar. Studying the behavior and words of Jesus in the Bible has fascinated scholars for centuries. Books have been written, sermons have been preached, classes taught, and even leadership models developed, all based on the example of Jesus. Let us start with the genealogy of Jesus himself. God could have chosen any family line for his son. The women who were selected to be in the lineage of Christ were picked for a reason. The DNA of Christ is shared with women who were fierce, daring, and pushed cultural boundaries. They were the rebel women of their day, willing to do what they believed was right, no matter the personal cost. Let's look at the names of such women and what they did. Rahab was a prostitute in Jericho. She risked her own life to save the Israelite spies. Tama disguised herself pretending to be a prostitute to seduce her deceased husband's father. She tricked him also by keeping proof he was the one who slept with her. She gave birth to his son. Ruth was a Moabite widow who pursued a relationship with her Jewish kinsman, Boaz. She took the lead by offering herself to him in marriage. She bravely went against cultural and even racial expectations. Mary was a young girl. She was not married, yet became pregnant. Unheard of unpunishable by excommunication and possibly abandonment, she became the mother of the Son of God. It was uncommon in ancient times for a female to have independent wealth. Jesus healed these women who already stood out in society and they in turn showed their gratefulness by financially supporting his ministry. The women chose to use the unique factor that set them apart from their peers to make an impact. And get this, Jesus allowed women to bankroll him. Yes, the ministry of Jesus was financially supported by women. We are only given the names of Mary Madeline, Joanna and Susanna, but this, but this passage tells us there were many more. Look at uh, Luke chapter 8 verse 1 to 3. A woman caught in the act of adultery, where was her accomplice, was brought into the temple and forced to stand up in front of a group of men as a means of shaming her and testing Jesus. Calmly, he bent down to write in the sun two different times. We all want to know what he wrote. But it cost the men one by one to leave. Jesus stood up to the masculine hypocrites and let them know the exact thing of which they were accusing her. They too were guilty. Jesus and the woman were left alone. He then addresses her directly, acknowledging that her accusers were gone, that she was free of condemnation. He defied the religious leaders in the temple and defended the woman in a very public and bold manner. From the cross, Jesus called out to John, who many believe it was, to take care of his mother, even while suffering agony on the cross. Jesus chose to provide for the need of his mother Mary. By putting her needs first, this act shows the commitment and love Jesus had towards her. So much of what Christian tradition tells us about female or wifely roles is based on the Old Testament. The culture of the day and ancient Jewish custom must be considered when making conclusions about how the Old Testament applies to our worldview today. The death and resurrection of Christ fulfilled the Old Testament. What the Bible atonement required by old tradition was pointing towards he fulfilled, his work is finished. Sin has been redeemed. We are no longer under the law but under grace. Jesus has a message for us in Hebrews chapter 9 verse 12. In his day, Jesus may well have been labeled a progressive base solely on his treatment and 
inclusivity of women. He showed his peers how he viewed women to be equal to men and worthy of honor, respect, and freedom. A version of Christianity that does not include the work and voices of women is not in line with the example set by Christ. Thank you for watching.